The history of science is a history of our collective learning. To quote the great Sir Isaac Newton, <clears throat> If I seem further than others, it's only by standing on the shoulders of giants. Newton famously sounded like Christopher Walken. He was also a genius who knew that scientific breakthroughs could never happen without the great minds that came before them. With that in mind, we are going to discuss generational differences. To illustrate, with me today, I have two next-gen Z790 motherboards from MSI. I need a volunteer. Let's see, uh, you, Tom, come on down. Tom, what is this? Uh... Twisty chopstick. Broken fork. Small ice pick. Uh, is that what you use to fix your Walkman cassette tapes? Because mm. you're old? Yeah, close. Have a seat, Tom. Okay. This is a screwdriver. A relic of previous... Stand up, Tom. This is a screwdriver. A relic of previous generation motherboards. Z790 motherboards represent the next generation. They're designed for next generation Intel Raptor Lake CPUs and next generation PC builders like Tom. This is how the next generation installs an M.2 drive. Press and hold this little button. Lift up the end part and move it forward to remove the heat sink, exposing the slot. Place the M.2 SSD in there. Rotate the EZ M.2 clip. Slide the heat sink into the notches and press each side to lock it. No tools, no screws, no fuss, just a nice NVMe participation trophy just handed to you without any effort. Now, sure. That's a cute upgrade, but previous generation, well, it innovated uphill. Both ways. In a snowstorm. <laughs> Z790 is designed for next-gen Raptor Lake CPUs, but it also is compatible with 12th gen Intel Core CPUs. Sometimes, if it ain't broken, it doesn't need fixing. Like, it's so cool to have Wi-Fi 6 connectivity that's faster than most legacy Ethernet and still include a 2.5G multi-gig Ethernet port. That's previous gen style. Okay. And this XMP for easy RAM overclocking, that's totally previous gen too. By the way, speaking of RAM, MSI will have both DDR5 and DDR4 models, giving you more to choose from. And as I said back when the Z690 came out, overclocking RAM isn't supposed to be easy. Blue screening is part of the fun. We used to clear our CMOS with a screwdriver. What's that? Screwdriver. Next gen expects it all and more like increased I.O. that allows for more M.2 connectors compared to the previous generation, and Gen 5 connectivity on both the PCIe by 16 and the M.2 slots, allowing you to upgrade to the next gen tech with a single swap in upgrade. When combined with DDR5 memory, your computing experience only gets better down the line. Sounds good. Okay, 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 I admit it. Okay. The next gen motherboards look great. But next-gen users, when you are dialing in the perfect overclock or installing your M.2 with just one hand, you just remember whose shoulders you're standing on. Yeah. It's ours, right? Yeah. Yeah. You want your twisty chopstick back? Yeah, I'm gonna need that. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Exits that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> 